Introducing DivX, the best way to watch movies at home. DivX is a new home video system that offers you the quality of digital pictures and sound, the freedom of no returns and no late feeds, the availability of hot feature titles all the time, the flexibility of watching great movies whenever you want, the convenience of an affordable home video collection. If you're looking for a DVD player, make sure you choose one with DivX. Only DVD players with DivX play both DVD and DivX movie discs. DivX lets you watch movies at home for about what it costs to rent, but you never have to return movies or pay late fees. This RCA DVD player with DivX is only $349.99, and get any five DivX movies free after rebate. Plug into DivX at Circuit City. This is the Panasonic version of the DivX player. There's not a lot of variations on DivX DVD players. Uh, they were only around for about a year. This is the X410, I believe. I mean, you can see it right there. So this is DVD X410. This is a DVD player that not only plays DVDs, but these DivX movies that look like uh, CDs. They look like uh, CD jewel cases that have the art of the movies on them. And uh, yeah, they have very, very popular films on them. This was going to be a very big thing. This was a joint operation between Circuit City and the publishers and developers of all these films. Uh, so I have several of these movies. I want to take a look at a couple of them. And uh, this format, this DivX format, promises a better experience than just a standard DVD which is pretty exciting. I've, I've never seen a DivX movie. Here's the problem. When I put the disc in, I get this screen. Uh, what's going on? Let's find out. And how does the disc work? Does it download the movie? No, the movie's on the disc, just like basic DVD. Uh, DivX movies just have an anti-piracy encryption built into the disc. There's a chip in the player that unscrambles the encryption, allowing it to be viewed on your player. Aren't these disposable discs going to be bad for the environment? Well, we don't think people are going to throw out perfectly good movies that can be watched again. Um, we think people are going to want to build their own video libraries. But if they decide they don't want them, we have disc recycling bins set up. Actually, we think because you can watch them again, people are going to want to give them away, trade them, even sell them at garage sales. Doesn't Circuit City own DivX? Yes, Circuit City owns a majority interest in DivX. In fact, they helped develop the technology that's now licensed to the companies that built the players. What about the DivX Gold Disc I've heard about? DivX Gold movies are purchased ready for unlimited play, as opposed to converting a disc to unlimited play. Now, DivX Gold Discs will only be produced if the studios desire them. DivX promised something amazing, and yet, this DVD player seems to be more of a paperweight than anything else. Sure, I can play DVDs on it, but why can't I play DivX DVDs? Let's find out more. Here's the DivX version of Tomorrow Never Dies. The DivX DVD costs a lot less. Here's the difference. The DivX disc at 449 includes a two-day viewing period similar to a rental from the video store, but much better. Unlike a rental, you own this disc. The two days doesn't start when you walk out the door, and you never have to return it. Your two-day viewing period only starts when you decide to put the disc in your DivX player and hit play. It could be days, weeks, or months after you purchase the disc. You can then watch it as many times as you want. Stop it, restart it, fall asleep and watch the rest of the morning. Whatever you want. Because the two days doesn't start until you decide, you have complete control over when you watch it. And remember, you never have to return it. Because of anti-piracy measures, I actually had to burn a disc to register my DVD player. Not just the DVDs, but the player itself. Burn the disc, play it, and then it was registered. So now I can get some of these movies working. Let's take a look at them. Mmm. God damn, Jimmy. This is some serious gourmet shit. Me and Vincent would have been satisfied with some freeze-dried taster's choice, right? <laughs> and he springs this serious gourmet shit on.
best evidence, objection, authenticity. Objection, if you should fall asleep at the council table, the first thing you say when you wake up should be, huh? Objection. It looks like me and Vincent caught you boys at breakfast. Sorry about that. Jeb. Hamburgers. 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 The cornerstone, the cornerstone of any breakfast. breakfast. What kind of hamburger? What kind of hamburger? Cheeseburgers. No, 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 no. Where'd you get them? Where'd you McDonald's, McDonald's, Wendy's, Jack in the Box. Big Kahuna Burger. Big Kahuna Burger. Big Kahuna burger. Big Kahuna that's that Hawaiian burger. burger. That's that Hawaiian burger. I hear they got some tasty yeah, burgers. Some tasty I ain't never had burger. one myself. How I ain't never had one myself. How are they? They're good. You mind if I try one of yours? You mind if I try one of yours? This is yours here, right? Hmm. This is a tasty burger. Vincent, you ever had a big kahuna burger? Want a bite? They're real tasty. Well, if you like burgers, give them a try sometime. Me? I can't usually get them because my girlfriend's a vegetarian, which pretty much makes me a vegetarian. But I do love the taste of a good burger. Mm. You know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in France. Tell him, Vincent. Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. So I wanted to close on this. Those movies didn't look any different from DVD. Perhaps a little bit worse. But now we have Blu-ray out. And this was so terrible that it contributed to the bankruptcy of Circuit City. And it lasted only about one year. You can still find these things. And they tried to do something where there was one-time use uh, like DVDs that you could take and they would just self-destruct themselves in some way, shape, or form. It never worked out greatly. So, long story short, if you happen to pick up one of these and they exclusively only play DivX DVDs, you'd essentially have a paperweight if, one, you didn't have phone lines anymore, which, God, I don't know who does in this era of internet access. People just use the internet and cell phones. And two, if you weren't able to burn a disc, because again, we're getting into the computer era where we don't even have DVD burners or CD burners. But the reason they failed is because people just wanted a DVD player. They didn't want to hook it up to a phone line. They didn't want to do all this extra stuff. They just wanted a DVD player. So this was the DivX DVD player. Uh, review. This review could cover every DivX DVD player because all of them are terrible and essentially just boil down to one big paperweight. And so do the movies, outside of a curious look at. Remember that selling DivX puts you at the forefront of cutting edge technology, quality, and convenience. So take the time to find out if your customers enjoy movies. And if they do, let them know that their time has come. Because as you've seen, DivX is the best way to watch movies at home.